Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you how to disable the dynamics in your score so that everything plays back uh, essentially the same volume. And you might wonder why would you want to do this? Well, if you're watching this video, you probably have a reason in mind already. In my case, it's because I'm, I'm just trying to understand some things about a score. I'm trying to understand the harmony. I don't need to hear it played back with all the nuances. I just want to hear the music. And so, for instance, this is the uh, Beethoven Waldstein uh, uh, Sonata, and if I play this, it's just really quiet, right? My volume's turned up to a reasonable level, and the reason it's really quiet is there's pianissimos before it. And yeah, I could delete that, but there's a piano before that, a pianissimo before that. Just finding them all to delete them is a pain. And then also, uh, I don't want to delete them. I, I just want to temporarily disable their playback. And then later on, I might want to turn it back on. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to right click one of those. And then under the select menu that appears, I'll pick similar. And now all dynamics across the whole score are selected. And now I can come over here to the properties panel and uncheck where it says play. And now when I do this, all my dynamics uh, will be ignored for playback. And so if I play it, we might expect that we're going to hear it uh, played a little bit louder. Let's find out. That is not louder, right? Now, uh, why is that the case? It is because dynamics are different as far as mu score is concerned from hairpins, you know, crescendos and diminuendos. And so if I look further back in this score, I'm going to discover there's a few diminuendos that have not been disabled. And so every time there's a diminuendo, it just gets quieter and quieter. So I need to disable the playback of those two. Same exact approach. I'll right click one of them, say select similar. And so now all the hairpins are selected. Come over to the play panel and uncheck play. Now, finally, if I return to that same place, I will hear it with all the dynamics disabled. And there you have it. So that is disabling all the dy dynamics. That's going to make it play back somewhere around a mezzo forte or so. You could then, you know, add your own dynamic uh, and not disable it if you want to control it further. But there you have it. That is how you can disable the uh, playback of dynamics in your score. And then when you're ready to uh, to hear them again, just repeat the same process. Ch click that play box again to re-enable them.